Uh, Don't eat retards. Hey, Matt. You're, you're willing to bite the bullet on retard holocaust. So basically, I'm a moron. A lovable moron. I'm not claiming to know exactly what I'm doing with my nutrition. Uh, if you eat sentient animals, you will have sentience. Those that don't eat sentient animals lack sentience. I didn't actually look at any of the studies. I didn't look at, I didn't verify anything. I if if, say, if Sainsbury's and all the elite get their way, the population will be poisoned more than they are. They're part of secret societies, they're part of the Freemasonic order. Gorillas are definitely not a real thing. It's men in suits and the, you know, you ever wonder why the gorillas always are willing to put on a show? Like, you know, just look up gorillas at the zoo. Every day, they put on the show. Watch them oh move. My God. If you put your hand into fire, it will be ouchy, ouchy. And if you put it on a hot stove, it will also be ouchy, ouchy, because fire is destructive, so don't put your food into it. They don't know the bigger picture. They probably need to do some ayahuasca, ayahuasca. Do some daily yoga and see how their body's really getting on. I'm not, I don't, I'm not qualified because they're fake. Most nutritionists know nothing about nutrition. But no, I've no, studied no. other, other nutritionists and scientists that have studied this stuff. And what they put forward, the evidence, is what I'm talking about. But well, what's wrong with genetically modified? It's wrong because like, you genetically modify a gene that is uh, inside a food and genetically it's gonna modify your own genes, slowly. <laughs> Slow oh works. yeah! What does that got to do with you needlessly exploiting animals? My point is that you have to wear sunscreen and cover up because you can't even be out in the sun for a few And you hours. have to shave your face because you can't live with the fact that you're ugly. It could be just the reason it comes out of the body is for the skin. When we're in the, the mother's womb, I, like 60% over the last six months, we're, we're in our mother's urine and that's what we come out for. Yeah, well, I don't know. They, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, the amniotic fluid, fluid and you've got your own, you know, the baby's making its own urine, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's still, so, yeah, there is some. I mean, I have my own anecdotal anecdotes, anecdotes, right, which don't count, yeah. right? And another one, which I will come up with later <laughs> again. Thousands and thousands of sample sizes of people under controlled yeah, conditions, no, okay, I right? Would say then, uh, more they have, the Ebtis cohort studies. Yeah, but they're mainly right. vegetarians, right? They're and you had no deficiencies apart from well, apart from vitamin D. Um, I had actually an overload of iron, but I had that. So you had iron. even more iron. Yeah, but like uh, I was uh, eating, tried to eat raw broccoli. Uh, I was eating raw onions. Yeah. <laughs> Why the onions? Raw onion. Well, I'm because I'm retarded. Oh yeah. Right. So, so I'm, that's my ignorance. No worries. Okay. Disrespect, uh, Frank. Like, if you're trying to make a video, that's like purely. You know what I mean? Like, purely like, like carnivore, like let's get these vegans. Like, it's going to be difficult because he knew what he was talking about. He's educated. And I'm sure that all of these other people are too. This is so loud.